Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Magic and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm be telling you how to upgrade the bow and arrow to the void bow or the keeper's bow or the skull bow. People are calling it many different names. It doesn't really have a specific name, uh, so people are calling it different things. Uh, anyways, so what you have to do is firstly obtain the bow and arrow. Now if you don't know how to get the bow and arrow, I will have a link in the description to get it. It's rather simple. So if you, if you don't have it already, link in the description for the tutorial on that. But if you have it, here's step one. So the first step is to come over near double tap and shoot an arrow into the ceiling. This will reveal an arrow signifying that the quest has begun. Simply pick this arrow up. Next, go inside the trophy room where there will be a purple square tile and you need to kill a zombie by meleeing it. I would suggest using the bowie knife to do this or weakening the zombie first with a gun. Anyways, now that the tile is broken, simply interact with it and an urn will float into the air. Now step 3 is to find 6 keeper skulls strewn about the map, so I will be showing you where all 6 of these skulls are located. The first skull is located near meal kick along this wall here near spawn, the second one is near double tap on this broken wall, the next one is inside Samantha's bedroom and this little box over here, the fourth one is up, up the stairs on a window by the main courtyard, the fifth is near the teleporter in the undercroft inside this sink, and the sixth and final skull is located near the rocket on the back of this truck. After you've collected all six skulls, return back to the trophy room and there will be the six skulls that you collected in a circle. Now you must make six crawlers and allow each skull to kill a crawler. I would suggest getting a group of like eight zombies and just making a ton of crawlers and leading them into this room um, and then just letting the skulls kill them. So after the six crawlers are killed, you will hear a voice say three words. I would suggest that you write these words down as they are going to be very important. So make sure you're listening closely here and writing down these words. The sixth step is to continue on killing zombies, and every once in a while a zombie will drop an Apothecan symbol. Quickly pick these up as they despawn quickly, and continue picking them up until they stop being dropped. I have heard they will get roughly four to six drops, usually with these Apothecan symbols. The next thing you want to do is then go to the power room where the statues are located. There will be plaques with symbols representing the three words that the announcer called out earlier. Go to the statues that match your three words and interact with the statues in order in the order that the announcer said them. Also, symbols will appear after you interact with each statue. I would suggest drawing these symbols on paper in the order that you see them. The next step is to then return to the trophy room and the announcer will say, what is my name? You must then use your bow to shoot the symbols in the order that you received them upon the statues. If you completed this step correctly, you can now pick up this new arrow. After you've gotten your arrow, then go to the pyramid room and place the arrow in the correct box. Then kill zombies around the box until the box is full of zombie souls. You're probably going to have to kill about 20 to 30 zombies before the box is full, but basically you'll know the box is full when souls stop entering the box. So then the last step is after you've filled the box fully, place your bow and arrow into the box and wait for the upgrade to be complete, and then pick up your newly upgraded bow. So that's how you upgrade the uh, regular bow and arrow to the void bow. Um, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not done so already. Also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below as I will be answering any questions that you have. Anyways, my name is Magic, and I'm out.